Welcome, Pisces, to your Asher Dice for January. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> and Happy New Year's to everyone. I hope this new year brings you joy, happiness, and harmony. Okay, getting straight in here. Let's see what's going on with you for January. Give us something good. Okay. So, we have Jupiter as your planet. Your zodiac is Pisces. Nice. Straight into your own energy with the 11th house. Very nice. So, bringing in your own energy this month is really going to be a good thing for you, Pisces. And remember, guys, if this doesn't resonate with you, you can always watch your rising or your moon. Okay, going straight over here. Let's find Jupiter. It is, it is talking about your confidence, courage, self-belief, and luck. So that's what it is. And how is it going to be done? Oops. It's going to be done Pisces style. How about that? With the energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving, and it confuses and softens to resolve. Very beautiful. Okay, and going straight into the 11th house, this is where it's going to take place. The 11th, ooh, right there. Where the cosmos grants wishes, lucks, friends, and social occasions. Feeling very social this uh, month, Pisces. Feel that right off the bat. Move this over just a little bit. Okay, so very beautiful. So going straight over here, let's clarify on Pisces and the 11th house for the beginning of the month. Okay. And I like, you know, you guys, I see this twice, the luck and the luck, right? Like lots of luck going on over here. Lots of luck. Okay. What is it talking about? Pisces, please. For January 2021. 2020 is over. I think our hindsight on 2020 was pretty much not very good. <laughs> now we've seen it all right. We've seen it too clear, right? Right now, face. Okay, guys. Well, it's kind of like you're upside down in the very beginning of the month, you know. Yeah. Okay, you have the Nine of Wands, and in the 11th house, you still have the love coming in, still feeling that compassionate, um, that social occasions, wanting to get out there. It just feels like with the King of Cups upside down, you're not kind of, not really feeling it just yet, right? But I do feel like from the King of Cups, no matter what, this is your card, um, it's still bringing up this um, intuitive side of you. It does feel very intuitive. Um, your health looks very good. So it's like you have this healthy relationship with your social partners. I just, maybe you're a little worried because um, it does feel like <laughs> between these two cards, you're kind of like baby stepping into 2021, right? Like I'm not going to own it just yet. I'm feeling kind of like backing up a little bit, kind of walking out of 2020. Um, maybe a little hurt, but determined to get to 2021 but kind of taking it slow, taking it with ease. Um, and, and I think it's because the King of Cups is upside down because you don't really know what to expect. So I think a lot of people are going to have this um, issue, though. So I don't think it's just you, Pisces. I think a lot of people are very weary of coming into this new year. Um, everybody wants to believe that it's so wonderful, but how could it be so wonderful? Nothing's really changed. So it just feels like you're kind of tiptoeing it in. Um, your awareness is a little high. Um, you know, it just feels like I'm tiptoeing in to the new year, but my awareness is at peak level, no matter what, not really feeling like it should be exactly what it should be. Yeah. That's clarifying on that. Clarifying on the King of Cups. I 
And you could even be having a little bit of problems too with the Queen of Swords. But I also feel like it's you as well though. Um, I just, you know, with the with the Jupiter here, with the confidence, courage, and self-belief, remember it can always be the opposite, right? Not really feeling the self-belief that everything is going to be wonderful in 2020. I'm not sure where you're going. Not really feeling the calmness, but feeling a little stressed um, and a little anxious. I mean, I think that's because, like I said, we don't know exactly what's going on. Having the resolution. Um, yeah, probably a New Year's resolution. Probably happy to see the new year. But like I said, still. Mm. But at least in the 11th house, you are very giving to your friends. Feeling like... Um, you're trying to keep the peace and the harmony with everyone around you. Um, yeah. It feels like your friendships and love relationships, any of this is kind of, you know, very giving. And it feels like it's time to be social. Um, yeah. It feels like a big highlight for you at this beginning of the month, really wanting to get out there and be social. Um I just feel like these are more like mental of, you know, like I said before, of the new year. Kind of like if you're talking with your friends over here and you're socializing, they're like, so how do you feel about the new year? Um, taking baby steps towards it. I don't know what the heck to think. <laughs> okay, so very beautiful. Spending time, you know, with your friends looks like a very good thing at this time too. Can actually help also. Um, with all this kind of worry and stress. So getting straight into the mid-month. King of Pentacles, your money's looking great. And here comes that self-confidence and belief. It feels like it's getting a little bit better. You're getting out of that stress. You're kind of getting out of this tiptoeing through the new year. Um, yeah, you're finding many options, especially within love, um, being under the Two of Cups within your 11th house. So the social occasions are very nice. You might even be multitasking. Um, between work and your friendships. Um, it does feel like um, reconnecting a lot over here with your inner circle of friends. Um, maybe you didn't spend a lot of time with them before, so you're kind of opening the door um, over here to spend more time with those that you haven't um, really you know, spent time with. And it's the best time right now, especially with Jupiter in, in play right over here. It's a good time to uh, spark up love relationships, um, really start, you know, feeling social. Great time. Okay, so let's clarify. And you could be feeling more social too with a Taurus or a Leo, maybe both, you know, you have this inner circle of friends and family, um, kids, however it is. Good time to buy a pet if you guys are looking for a dog or anything of that because it just feels like you really want this um, socialness, right? So good time for all of that. And yeah, it could be somebody from the past that you're really um, inner connecting with. Maybe you have a past friend that's coming in or a family member you haven't talked to for a long time. And it's really sparking this self-confidence in Jupiter. Um, they could come in and just be super friendly and just really start feeling like, hey, finally I get to talk to you or, you know, we've made this connection. Could you be making um, some kind of connection that you've wanted and desired from the past? So it could be a new person as well. Um, Six of Swords moving beautiful within your Piscean um, energy. Love that you're having the strength, the compassion, um, and moving right into that. Oh, man, moving right along into the 11th house. Just very social. Very, very social. Look at that. Social with your friends, family. Like I said, could be getting a new pet. <clears throat> very nice. Could got a new horse, a new dog, cat. Here's a cat. Okay, and getting into the end of the month. Very beautiful new year. Ooh, we do get the Ten of Swords, though. So maybe that's why I was, like, feeling like you need to get this socialness out while it, the spark is around, you know. Um, and it could be because... Yeah, you know, well, here comes the Ten of Swords. 
something's not feeling so great. Clarify on the Ten of Swords for us really fast. Ooh, you could be dealing with a Leo. I don't know, then all of a sudden at the end of the month, <laughs> it's like gossip's coming around or somebody's upset with you. Um, and of course, this, we're talking about the 11th house, so this is friends, family, social occasions. You could have somebody um, just come out of the blue that decides to gossip, be upset about something. Maybe they didn't feel like they were getting any attention when you were giving out all the attention, um, needing that attention. Yeah. And it's kind of like you're just kind of let go of the uh, compassion over here with the emperor. Um, now they kind of feel like they're in control and they're kind of manipulating the situation towards the end of the month. Um, yeah. So it's just a good thing you got where you needed to be. Not traveling towards them. Maybe, yeah, you weren't texting them. You weren't maybe not paying attention to them when you were. I just feel like you were giving out all this other attention and they kind of felt like they were left out. Um in the cold. Yeah. But it does feel like you're doing some kind of research. It could be going to school. School could be starting up again. Um, maybe that's why they're upset as well. Um, maybe you were giving them too much attention. Now you're not giving them any attention because school started up, work started up. Um, now you have to pay attention somewhere else. You're like, sorry, social events is over. I have to get back to work, get back to my job. Um, kind of gives a bailout effect towards this person. Um, yeah, it's almost like they feel like you kind of just were there. For some of you, you were there all month and then you kind of bailed out of it and it kind of left them hanging. Um, and now they don't really understand what's going on. Um, they just feel like you kind of left. <laughs> what? And you're kind of, it almost feels like you're kind of like, yeah, well, I couldn't stay forever. You know, it was just a social thing. I, you know, I have to get back to work, get back to where I need to be. Um, and it just feels like they still want a lot of attention. Um, could be dealing with the Gemini or... Scorpio, I'm, so many signs up here. Wow, we have Leo, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio, Aries, Taurus. Even could be a cusp. I have Scorpio here twice, and uh, a Sagittarius. So, but I have a lot of Leo up here. So it could have been you giving a, a Leo a lot of attention that all of a sudden they felt that they wanted more and more and more of you, Pisces. And then you're just like, well, you know, as a Pisces, I got to go back to work. I have other things to do. Um, so it wasn't the change that they were thinking that they were going to get with you this year. Um, but I think you gave them enough social looking here that you gave them a lot of social attention. Um, yeah. And intuitively, you know that you need other things that you're aware of trying to do other things. You have other things on your plan this new year to do. And it does feel like you're intuitively um, working kind of maybe even on yourself, kind of reconnecting with yourself at the end of the month or reconnecting with work or things that, you know, you desire. Um, yeah. So you're not moving towards the passion anymore at this time. You're really more passionate about getting to where you need to be now. Yeah. They don't really like that. Somebody, you, somebody you, uh, hadn't seen for a long time, um, really wants you around a lot over your Pisces. I'm sure you'll get back to them. It just, it doesn't mean you completely ghosted them or anything. It just feels like you gave them a lot of attention um, for some of you. For others of you, you're just kind of upset um, for whatever reasons. Maybe got into a little tat through a text or something. Something went awry. Um, but otherwise, you're just kind of worried about yourself towards the end of the month. Okay, so otherwise, it looks beautiful. And Happy New Year's to you all. And I will see you guys next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.